Oh, yeah, certainly. Um, you know, one of the long-time directors, Tony Joseph, and um, you know, Peter Nolan, who's been at the club a long time, and, and um, you know, Paul White, they, they actually just spoke about that. And I suppose I, I mentioned that to the players after the game. Um, you know, hopefully in 15 or 18 years' time, you know, uh, they'll be talking about this baby Broncos side. I think um, the Sharks had a 1,000 more NRL games than us tonight. Um, so I was really proud of the guys. They, they, you know, we were really, really good first half. We were pretty average the first 15 minutes of the second half, and then we just kept fighting. So I'm proud of them, really proud. Did you try to challenge the baby Broncos during the week? Um, oh, we mentioned it once, but we didn't sort of... Um, you know, we, we didn't linger on it, but... We, we spoke about Broncos teams that have come away or played during this period with a lot of young guys and um, and done the job. I don't think there's been any younger or, or less experienced than this one. And losing our half back at half time and, and then Gambit Shibasaki early in the second half, it created a little bit of chaos for us, but they just kept hanging in. I was really proud of them. We've had a couple of tough weeks, obviously, but, um, you know, we had a good prep and um, I was just really proud of the young guys. We had four debutantes and... Um, yeah, they just kept hanging, hanging tough. Well, obviously, Sean um, couldn't go back on after half time. What, <coughs> you know, what was I suppose what was the attitude like or the response like? Ever? Yeah, no, it was it was pretty good to be fair. Um, I spoke to Mac and I said, "Man, how do you feel about playing in the halves?" I don't I, I don't think he's done it since he pl- made his debut here. He was telling me back in maybe two thousand and eight or something like that. Um, so fair while ago. So I um, mean, we've certainly done no reps there. I mean, even playing Jakey Turpin in the halves this week was. It was a bit of a change, so we end up with three ho- three hookers on the field. I'm not sure if many other teams have done that. So, um, um, but yeah, Macca's attitude was good towards it, and um, we were a bit scratchy there first 15 minutes. I was a little bit worried that the game was going to get away from us because we just got a bit frantic, which sometimes happens. Um, but yeah, they, they sort of steadied the ship and, and come home really strong. I thought we were um, the better side there at, at, at the back end. Peter, um, I think he steamrolled Gallon in the first half, which you don't see every day. And then he comes up with that. Yeah. At oh, the end. I mean, um, Tavita's got that in him. He, um, we spoke before the game, and even the back end of the game, we needed to give Tavita a chance on Townsend. Uh, we thought he could create something there, and he got that uh, fantastic offload away earlier um, in the half. Down our end, Tavita was looking to try and get those offloads away, but it's just about being smart. And one of the things <laughs> I'm trying to do is educate the guys on. Um, you know, on our game management, but he's got a skill that, that is really good. Um, and, yeah, he essentially won the game with some, some fantastic skill. You don't see too many off, offloads better than that, I suppose. What did you make of the, the debutant, especially Xavier, with that early try? Oh, fantastic. I mean, um, yeah, just, you know, wonderful experience. I mean, I'm not sure if many people saw the jersey presentation, but it was emotional. I mean, I've been part of a fair few, and um, I was in tears myself. I just... It, Sometimes, as a coach, you get caught in the um, you get caught in the moment and you get caught up in wins and losses and so on. But it was a it was a great reminder for me yesterday to see how special it is for young men to achieve their dream to play in the NRL. And you would have seen the emotion that was attached to that. And it was just a really good reminder of why we I talk about staff, coaching staff across every team and every club, and why we do our jobs. Oh, yeah, it's going to be challenging for us. Obviously, we've got some players attached to um, to the origin on Wednesday night and Sean Sullivan's gone for a few weeks. Um, Gamut's got a compound fracture on his finger, so that's going to be a long, long time. Um, yeah, Millie and Tom Dearden are, are both out at the moment, so we, um, we'll probably have to make... Um, or give some other guys there to boot, like Corey Pakes will come to the reckoning. Um, I would have thought we'll need to have a look at who we play centre next week. Um, but I just want to enjoy. I think it's important that the guys enjoy, you know, this win, and, and then we'll we'll um, get back together on Tuesday morning, and um, we've got a short prep in the Warriors, so we can't get too carried away. So you have yeah, a sort of great day today for the young guys, but Dara's been under immense pressure mm. for as long as I can remember now. Mm. He was immense for you, Dara, for given the situation. Yeah, yeah, he was ready. Um, you know, it, last week was really challenging for Dars because I put him to six, then he had to defend as a centre because we got Richie Catterhurt early in the game. So it was a little bit of a distorted view of 
how that might work. I still think Millie and, and Darbs, the position will change. I'd like to have a look at that at some stage, but Darbs was, was outstanding tonight. Um, and, you know, Cronulla are a, a good side. I mean, they put some pressure on us with our kicking game and, and some, of our, some of our guys sort of, um, their attention to detail on, on the pendulum and, and, and a few things like that needs to, to be better. Um, and Darbs got caught there a few times in goal, but I thought it was fantastic. He was he was uh, really brave and you know he, he really got involved, which is what he wanted to do. He wanted to leave with his actions. That was his that was his main aim this week. I thought he did a fantastic job. So, do, do you have a view on that that rule, that knock on rule, like when Xavier lost that try with a knock on? Like I know it is a knock yeah, on, yeah, yeah. But the rule itself, yeah, I, it was that was a tough one. I thought because um um. Yeah, you know, the the referees will try, um, and it was a fantastic piece of skill. So to take away um, the, the try was was quite tough. But no, I don't have a view on the rule. But I would love to see that that skill rewarded. I thought Xavier was a bit of a weapon there for us. And you could almost just get the ball to the middle of the field and kick for him every time. Th- 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 that that was the game plan this week. <laughs> <laughs> see, when your performance the day, when you see Sean Johnson taken off the field. What are you thinking? Yeah, well, um, well, we saw that because it was right in front of our coach's box. And um, again, I don't know if Sean was injured or, or, or whether it was a tactical. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, I'd prefer not to comment on other teams, but um, when Sean Johnson's on the field and, and running the footy, I don't really like that <laughs> too much, to be fair. So, um, but yeah, again, I don't know. You know. I'd hate to comment, really. Yeah. You can you can turn the On the oh, when he when, okay um, again um, I saw it there live I had a, a real brief look of the replay but we got the penalty so uh, I don't think so I, I don't think so but I think most tripping yeah I, I don't know whether they call that a, a kick um, sorry a kick or a trip I'm not sure um, I hope not <laughs> yeah I know. I'll have to have a, I'll have to have a good look at it. Um, it's a funny one, but we got the penalty. If yeah, if Flanagan wasn't leaning all over him, um, we wouldn't have got the penalty, I suppose. But yeah, I'll, again, I'll have a look at that. So you're talking about Richard. Is that? Uh, I'm assuming that's. Is that the best win you've had since you've been at Brisbane? Maybe oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the bravest. Mm. Uh, uh, you know, the bravest. Yeah, considering who we had our guys, you know, like uh, I hate harping on this, but we had ten guys with less than thirteen games there tonight and four of those guys that were making their debut and Katoni Staggs is only you know we had 11 guys out of our 17 less than 25 games but as I said 10 of them were less than 13 and four of them were on the boom um, I was interviewed by Channel 9 prior to the game and, and they said that Cronulla have got over a thousand more NRL games experience on the park today <laughs> so that worried me a little bit really <laughs> but um no, yeah, we, we prepared really well. It hasn't been our preparation. Even the last couple of weeks when we've been, been really ordinary, but we prepared well. Um, we just haven't managed to handle some of the chaos in games and we haven't managed, you know, double up areas. We sort of have dropped our head a little bit. Tonight, even when things went a, a little, you know, chaotic there for 15 minutes in the second half, we we, we just managed a way to, to get ourselves back in the game. And, um, and they give us a little sniff because they missed some... some some goal kicks as well so you know again we're not getting carried away but um, it's as brave as win that I've been involved with um, so yeah, who's, who's the best of the oh just probably a, a, any sort of team we were down, you know like with all due respect we're down to the bare bones tonight like you know let's, let's be let's be honest you know with Origin and all that sort of stuff so um, yeah proud of the guys and, but, but you know with the NRL mate, and this is what the young guys have to learn um, enjoy it tonight. We're flying back tonight, but then you know we're back to work tomorrow, and you know we're on again on Saturday night. So you're giving your selection today to some of those kids. Yeah, which is good. Which is what I wanted. I, I wanted Xavier Coach and Herbie Farmworth to to come in and put some real pressure on Corey Oates and Jermaine Asako. And, and obviously Oates is away with Origin, and Jermaine's away for personal reasons. But um, <laughs> I thought they did that. Yeah, I thought they did that. Reese Kennedy was really strong off the bench. Um, you know, Keenan Palisar. Got a bit more time than what we probably had planned, but yeah, we'll, um, we'll review it. But we'll enjoy it. Uh, it's a it's a, a tough win. It's a tough place to come here. So. Cheers, guys. Thank you. <laughs>